Hey there everybody on YouTube doing another video update. Um, as you can see my tank is very 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 empty. Um, haven't done a video in a couple of weeks so I'm just gonna give you a nice recap. Um, bought these little guys right here. There's three of them. There's one, two, and where's the last one? Hiding somewhere. Uh, there it is. There's all three of them. So, um, me being me, you know, being anxious to put them in a tank, I didn't quarantine them, bought them from PetSmart, and, uh, that one right there actually had velvet. Didn't realize it, didn't see it, um, as you can see they're really small, they were even smaller, they've actually grown quite a bit in the last, um, two or three weeks that I've had them. So, you know, put them in my tank. And I started to notice that my big angelfish right here, where are you, baby? My big girl right here, she um <clears throat> she started showing signs of velvet. So I thought I was hoping that it was just her and it would have been an isolated situation. Um it wasn't. She wasn't the initial carrier, so I was able to quarantine her. You know, and that just gave me a chance to really view everybody else and see what was going on with everybody else. Um, I started to notice a little bit of it on my Pletco. And then, you know, that's when I noticed that one of the small angels had it on them. So, what I've done now is um, I took my big angel fish out of the quarantine tank. And in there, I put a half dose. It's a 10-gallon quarantine tank. I put a half dose of um, Copper Save, this wonderful stuff right here. Um, and the reason why I did the half dose was because I had Tetras and a red tail shark um, in this tank. So what I've done for their safety is I've removed them from this major tank, the big tank, and I put them into the 10 gallon tank, um, which is also where I put the big giant plant thing that I had in the middle here um, in order to give the Tetras some hiding space. My shark tends to be a little picky and choosy about who he wants to bully for the day. So I put that in there for them um, as a hiding space. Um, so they're in there with my with my shark with a half dose of the copper safe um, and the big tank here I just decided to go ahead and do a full dose um, I did that last night everybody seems to be doing great um, the small angelfish that had the velvet to begin with seems to be responding to it very well I woke up this morning and it seems to be, you know, kind of going away already. I kind of had to really squint hard to see it on him or her, whichever. So, everybody seems to be doing really well. Um, I'm going to probably keep them on the medication for about two weeks just to make sure, you know, it's gone. And I don't have anything to worry about. And from here on out, yes, I will be using my quarantine tank. So what I should have done to begin with. Um, at the time when I bought the angelfish, I didn't have um, a proper filter on my quarantine tank. So my water parameters were just really bad. I shouldn't have went and bought them. I know, I understand. Lesson learned, won't happen again. So... I'm going to go over to the quarantine tank now and show you guys what's going on over there. Alright everybody, I'm over here at the quarantine tank and as you can see, you know, it's just a regular bare bottom tank. Nothing fancy, nothing significant. Um, as you can see, my red tail shark decided that he wanted to make his home in this tank inside the big plant that I put in here for the Tetris, which, you know, it's fine. He's happy. My Tetras, they're happy. Um, at the moment, I guess they're swimming against the current from the filter. 
last night when I put them in here, they were over here with the bubbles, swimming with the bubbles. So, you know, they seem to be, you know, their usual old self. You know, nothing major going on here. So, I actually didn't see um, any signs of the velvet on them. But, you know, just as a precaution, you know, being that they, they were in contaminated waters anyway, I just, you know, decided to go ahead and treat them at a half dose. You um, know, the reason for the half dose is because they're scaleless as well as my shark, so I was told. So, um, you know, better safe than sorry. So that's, that's pretty much all that's been going on here. It's my great line of products that I like to use over there. Starting to branch out a little bit from the API. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, um, anything I can answer, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Please like the video, subscribe to the video. Hopefully, I'll be able to start doing updates a little more regular. Um, and we'll see what happens. Thanks, guys.